there are a few things more essential to the United States than our ports. It's really good to be in Miami with my good friend Carlos Jimenez, the entire Port of Miami team. Hey, great to good to meet you, absolutely. See you. Yeah. It's easy to take it for granted because when you buy something on the shelf, you don't stop to consider the ship it came in on, the port employee who actually took the box, got it on shore. The, you know, most of our commerce goes through you know, uh, the ocean or by our rivers. If our ports shut down, our economy shut down, and it's as simple as that. That's why we're increasingly concerned about the Chinese Communist Party's efforts to control our ports through Chinese-made smart cranes. 70%, 70% of the cranes that are unloading, that are being used in, the, in our nation today, actually are being produced in, um, in China and being controlled by the Communist uh, Party of China, which means that we are vulnerable to that, so. The threat posed by the CCP is not over there, it's right here at home. It's right in our ports. It gives them the ability to disrupt our entire domestic economy. These Chinese-made cranes can register and track the movement and destination of containers, allowing the CCP to capture information about materiel being shipped in or out of the country to support U.S. military operations. In recent years, Congress has taken critical action to counter threats from CCP proxies like Huawei and ZTE. I think it's time that we act with a similar sense of urgency to secure our critical port infrastructure. I've introduced legislation to outlaw uh, all uh, uh, Chinese-made uh, software that, that controls the cranes, and also, eventually, to start moving away from the Chinese Communist Party-made made cranes and start utilizing either cranes made in the United States or by our allied countries. ZPMC is the Huawei of port infrastructure, waiting to disrupt our economy or our national security in the event of a crisis. So it's time to wake up and it's time to rid ourselves of our dependence on the Chinese Communist Party.